Barnes, West London. Jazz musician William Algar, 53, also known to his family as Blaze, was described as a brilliant jazz trumpeter and a gentle man. He studied at the London School of Music and was asked to join the punk rock band The Damned after playing in a number of rock bands. Mr Algar, who was known as Willie in the music world, played on the band's hit single Grimly Fiendish in 1985, but was in the lineup for less than one year. As his chances of a successful career faded, he began using drugs and became mired in the shadowy world of heroin and cocaine supply, where he was known as Blaze. The jazz trumpeter suffered with mental health issues and drug misuse for a very long time, and he was very vulnerable. At some point, a drugs gang befriended Mr Algar with the use of cocaine and heroin and intimidation. Amiko Wodu and his associates, Simon Amons, Zameli Dub, Janeo Lucima and Mark Hardin began using his flat as a base for drug dealing. William Algar began selling cocaine and heroin for the gang at his flat and was used by youths to smoke cannabis and hang around. Sarah Hutchinson, who used to purchase drugs from William, appeared as a prosecution witness and details how William had become like a slave to those who he was selling drugs for. She told the court they were all over the place smoking weed. They just used to go in and hang around. They used to pick on him as well. They used to stab his sofa and they were not very nice to his cat. They were very intimidating. William owed money to Amika Wodu, who threatened to kill his cat Felix. William was so worried he even called the police from a telephone box saying threats are being made against his cat. William Algar, 53, known to his friends and family as Blaze, was discovered dead at his flat in Barnes on January the 3rd. A post-mortem examination found he had suffered multiple stab wounds and died from a stab wound to the chest. An accused killer has told the court how the body of a talented musician came to be chopped up with a Rambo knife at his flat in West London. The 19-year-old, who cannot be named for legal reasons, denies murdering musician William Algar and another man, Ibrahim Marcham, in December 2019. He described how the corpse of Mr Algar, 53, was dismembered and his limbs disposed of on Hounslow Heath. He said it was his co-accused who killed and dismembered Mr Algar. Given evidence at the Old Bailey on Wednesday, the teenager said fellow drug dealer Simon Amons, 40, murdered Mr Algar and asked him to help clean up the victim's flat in Barnes and hide his remains. A teenager who helped dispose of a talented trumpeter's body parts has been cleared of his killing but found guilty of murdering a second man. Days later, drug dealer Ibrima Chan, 35, nicknamed the Brim Reaper, was also killed in a frenzied attack at a flat in Hounslow, West London. Drug dealers Simon Amons and Zimeli Dube of Hounslow were convicted of Mr Cham's murder by majority of 10 to 2.